Hi, I'm Greg Scalco, Senior Technical Specialist at Canon USA. Did you know many of Canon's current lineup of cameras offer an SDK or RESTful camera control API? Today I'm going to talk about the EDSDK, also known as the EOS Digital Camera Software Development Kit. If you'd like to learn more about the RESTful camera control API, also known as the CC API, see the link in the description for a related video. You could think of the EDSDK as a software development tool that allows you to integrate an EDSDK capable camera in your application. Keep in mind this is a development tool, so you will need to be able to write a program that can integrate the EDSDK libraries. The EDSDK is offered in compatible DSLR, mirrorless, and PowerShot models. If you're unsure the camera you're using is EDSDK capable, you can go to developer community .usa.canon.com and view the camera compatibility chart to find out. The EDSDK has many capabilities such as live view, where you could see live images remotely, take a picture, record a video, control the lens, focus, iris, and zoom on PowerShot models, get or set camera settings, view files stored on the memory card and retrieve or manipulate them, get image properties, and much more. Other than having a EDSDK compatible Canon camera, let's talk about the other hardware and software requirements. To utilize the EDSDK, the camera must be USB tethered. Remember, if your application is better fit for Wi-Fi, then the CC API would most likely be a better solution for you. The EDSDK is supported on computers running Windows or Mac OS only. It's compatible with Windows 7 or 10, 64 or 32 bit, and Mac OS 10.12 and 10.14 64-bit. Let's take a look at the architectures of the operating systems as it relates to the EDSDK deliverables. As you can see here, the application you develop in Windows or Mac will only reference the EDSDK libraries to control the camera. The underlying PTP communication layers are handled by the EDSDK. This simplifies the task at hand.